So, the fake news, of which many of you are members, is trying to convince the public to have a recession. Let's have a recession. The United States is doing phenomenally well. But one thing I have to do is economically take on China, because China has been ripping us off for many years. President Clinton, President Bush, and President Obama, and others should have done this long before me. My life would be much easier, although I enjoy doing it, but my life would be much easier if I just said, let China continue to rip off the United States, all right? It'd be much easier, but I can't do that. We are winning against China. They've lost two and a half million jobs in a very short period of time. They want to make a deal. It's got to be a deal that's good for the United States. When they want to make a deal, probably we will make a deal. But if I didn't do that, and I'm not doing this. Somebody said it's Trump's trade war. This isn't my trade war. This is a trade war that should have taken place a long time ago by a lot of other presidents. Over the last five or six years, China's made $500 billion. $500 billion, Ripped it out of the United States. And not only that, if you take a look, intellectual property theft. Add that to it. And add a lot of other things to it. So somebody, excuse me, somebody had to do it. I am the chosen one. Somebody had to do it. So I'm taking on China. I'm taking on China on trade. And you know what? We're winning because we're the piggy bank. We're the one that all these countries, including the European Union, wants to rob and takes advantage of. European Union, $200 billion. China, more than $500 billion. Sorry, uh, I was put here. I was put here by people. I was put here by people to do a great job. And that's what I'm doing. And nobody's done a job like I've done. Now, would China rather wait for a little more than a year and try and get sleepy Joe Biden to negotiate with instead of President Trump? Maybe, but I don't think so. You know why? They're losing too many jobs too fast. They had the worst year in 27 years but I think it was actually 52 or 54 years. It's the worst year they've had in a half a century. And that's because of me. And I'm not proud of that, but you know what? They want to negotiate. And Sleepy Joe doesn't have a clue. Sleepy Joe said, oh, China's wonderful. Well, China is wonderful for China, but I'm wonderful for the USA. Okay,